great. Everybody can please be seated. Thank you so much. Uh, I know, I feel exactly the same way. <laughs> uh, I have the privilege of being up here to run the show and I could not be happier about it. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Isaac Robinson Smith and I've been a friend of Chris's since high school. And for those of you here today that were there when Chris and I met, and there are several of you guys here, it has been about 20 years since we became friends. We're all old now, you guys, so you can do it better. <laughs> but I will tell you that even though it's been 20 years, to my eyes, and I do not see anything that has changed about one of my longest friends, a lot of life has happened. Last night, we revisited the old days of how things were before that life began to happen to us. Me and the boys gathered at Chris's parents' house for a night of fun, and remembering in a night of friendship. And some of my most personal and most impactful memories during my high school years are directly connected to Chris and his parents and the house that became a standard hangout spot for us many afternoons after high school. I remember being so stoked if I got permission to hang out and play video games with Chris. It was great. <laughs> Stay up late, playing rock band, eating pizza, talking about Ninja Turtles and Rocky movies. Plus, Chris always had the coolest tech, by the way. He had the very first iPhone in 2007, and I was so jealous. It was so awesome. But even though he had the latest stuff and the coolest games, he as a person never changed. I think that one of the most beautiful things about it is that Chris, his mom and dad, his home, and the friends that ran through that house with us became family to me. I'm someone who has consistently struggled to feel like I belong. I have varying interests and dreams and curiosities, so naturally it felt to me like I didn't really have a community a lot of the time because I was different. That is until I met Chris and his parents who celebrated who I was and showed me how much light I had to offer the world. And that gift is truly priceless. No matter what I accomplish or where I go with my life, Chris has always been there to be a constant reminder that the person I am is enough. And that's a gift that he gives everybody that he comes in contact with, and there's no difference today. The sense of belonging, the promise of safety, the generosity of spirit, and the heart that this man carries has been such a blessing to me. And it's no wonder that such a fantastic person as Jenna and her family found their way into Chris's life. And I got to get a little insight into how it happened, and it seems pretty perfect in my opinion. For those of you that don't know the whole story, it's not very long, the two of them met, well, they were working at K Jewelers, so I think that maybe it's time to change the slogan to every marriage begins with K. <laughs> uh, I have no idea if this is true though, but I'm choosing to believe that today's wedding rings are sponsored by K Jewelers. But... <laughs> anyway, uh, the progression of their romance is straight out of a movie. They began as friends, hanging out and spending time together after initially going to a wrestling event. And I could just picture the two of them staring into each other's eyes as the symphony of people getting pounded to the ground filled the air in the back. Very, very romantic. And according to Jenna, she at the beginning saw Chris as a friend and it was sort of left at that for a while, but... And the way they thought about things was the same. And I'm sure that there were things they were discovering daily that unite them even closer. It's at that point that Jenna began to consider Chris a little differently. You see, when two souls find each other, it's only a matter of time before the gravity pulls them into becoming one. And Jenna, I'm so thrilled that your soul found Chris's. The love that you have given him and he to you will allow you to discover and play and reinvent yourselves as you go through this marriage together. In fact, there is so much reinvention that I understand, Chris, one of your names is also Herman. Is that right? <laughs> He's nodding. Look, true love right there. That's great. <laughs> Jenna, thank you and your family for allowing Chris into your heart. And I can already tell that this is the start of something absolutely wonderful. But rather than me continue on about the way I feel about these two, uh, Chris and Jenna have prepared their own vows for each other. And Jenna, I have your vows here. So why don't you go first, please, and I will. Hold the microphone for you so everybody can hear you. Chris, today I vow to always bring you happiness, to cherish your smile and embrace your laughter. Being with you is my greatest joy. You have been my best friend, my partner, and now my husband. From this moment on, I promise to stand by your side through every challenge and triumph until the end of my days. In your presence, I find my true self. Without you, I am incomplete. You are love itself, and I promise to hold you close to my heart today. Jenna, <laughs> 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 
Ever since I saw the beautiful eyes and stunning smile, I knew you, you were my soulmate. We always had a special bond, <coughs> and I always thought the same thing. I'm blessed to have you and the kids in my life. You make me happy every day. We have many wonderful times, a few challenging times, but no matter what, I get through them any day. I can't wait for our, ama our amazing future. <coughs> Oh, for all of our amazing future adventures, my life. Yeah, that'd be so much. You guys are a good crowd. The awe was really <laughs> <laughs> That was really beautiful, you guys. <laughs> so as we move forward with this amazing moment, we are reminded that Chris and Jenna's union and marriage is not something with a beginning or an end, but a continuous journey that evolves and changes and grows with them. And to represent that never-ending bond, Chris and Jenna will now exchange rings. May these rings be symbols of your unity as husband and wife, as your lives are now to be joined in one unbroken circle. Mr. Grayson, sir, you bring up the rings. Excellent job. Okay, Jenna, you'll go first. So. All right, Jenna, you will repeat after me, please. Chris, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness as I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. <laughs> All right, Chris, you will repeat after me. Jenna, I give you this ring. Jenna, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. Symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. is about the blending of two distinct lives and selves into a collaborative and meaningful partnership. And while both will stay whole, their paths will join and become one. To honor this, the bride and groom have asked us to join them as they perform a sand ceremony, symbolizing this blending of two into one. So I'll have you two, and can I have my helpers in the sand ceremony please come forward? Then, by the power vested in me by the state of California and the monastery.org. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss the bride. So for every new year, we would go to Benihana's. So I asked Christopher 
agree we need to add three more to our reservations, and he said yes. When I, when I met Deb for the first time, we knew she was the one for Christopher. So I want to say thank you. Okay, I wanted to say, hold on. <laughs> we knew she was the one for Christopher. Thank you, Jenna.
most part of my life actually, middle school and high school. Uh, I want to share a quick story how we first met actually. So I remember we were in Ms. Ramirez's class, two shy kids that we would never see each other. You know, don't put this together. Uh, I think she saw that we were really two shy kids, so she decided to sit us next to each other. And that was the day when Ms. Ramirez was doing, what was that art lesson? Seven elements of art. And we happened to choose the same element, I remember that. And we drew this very similar thing. I looked over and I'm like, oh my god, this kid has an ad for drawing, for sure. And I gave him a little comment, like, oh my god, this is But in the quiet tone, he was like, thank you. <laughs> and that was the ice breaker. From there, we started talking, laughing, and you know, from, you know started tagging us. Sorry, I'm a little nervous right now, but yeah. Yeah, and from that day on, I knew we would be great friends for life. You know, we started having a very small conversation, and I'm very happy for you, and the job is coming from back in the world. And that, you know, you guys are like a second family to me. And, uh, so how I met Jenna, I remember uh, Jenna introduced me when I first met Chris after a hiatus. So I'll be honest, I kind of disappeared for a little bit. You know, and then we reconnected. And from there, I first met Jenna because it was a USC fight. I came over and I met Jenna. And from that moment on, I don't know Jenna very well, but just seeing the look of Chris's face, I can tell she was around. Because I know Chris was like, he's very, he could be kind of quiet and shy, but when I met Jenna, you know, Chris and Jenna, he was very calm and relaxed and very happy. So from there, I can tell that they were meant to be together. And as uh, Chris Barnes is new chapter, I have no doubt he'll be as, as good or husband as he is a friend. And let's raise our glasses to Chris and Jenna. You may, may your lives be filled with la love, laughter, countless adventures together. Yeah! yeah. Thank you. 